Hi and welcome to Python Scientific Calculator. So let me show you guys how it works. Just like any other calculator. So we can multiply plus minus. Multiply that by 5. Clear. Find the square root of that. Clear. Go to the scientific calculator. There we go. And supposing we want pi as pi, the cosine of pi, tangent. Okay, so we can also find pi multiplied by 2. Logarithm of that, sine of that, exponential. Mode 6, what do we get there? So what I'm going to do now is to take you guys straight into Python editing environment and we'll put one of these very advanced calculator tutorial together. So let's do that now guys. Hi, welcome to Python scientific calculator tutorial. I'm going to start by importing the following. So I've entered from TK. You know, Let's import all of the library. Enter a star there. The next thing I'm going to import is going to be the maths. Maths. Then I will also import pass. Let's import TK. Dot message box there now the name of my app is called root okay root equals tk enter parenthesis and let, let me give my app a title so it's going to be known as scientific calculator root the title inside a bracket that's going to be scientific now the choice is yours you can always give it a background so the background is going to be root.config or configure and that is going to be background equals I'm gonna call it powdered blue there. The next thing is I'm going to restrict so you will not be the, the user will not be able to adjust the size. So I'm going to say resizable width equals force and height as well equals false. there okay the next thing we want to do now is let me set the geometry of my calculator so that's how you set the size so it's going to be I want to make that 480 multiply or by 568 plus 0 plus 0 there so plus zero plus zero means it's going to start from up here okay so the next thing we want to do now is i'm going to create a frame i'll call that frame calculator or cap let's say that's frame and this frame is going to be inside the root right so let's say cow dot grid equals that okay before I continue with the rest let me give my application a name I'm just gonna call it scientific calculator there that is it saved okay let's continue and first of all let's correct this error that's supposed to be background and this is supposed to be 
powder blue as the background okay the next thing I would like to do is I'm going to like to create the following that's going to be my menu let's call that menu bar equals menu and that menu is going to be right inside the calc itself this this frame okay so the next thing is I'm going to say file file menu equals menu and this very menu is going to be right inside menu bar this very one there and let's say menu equals one of the attributes for menu is tier of tier of equals zero and close that and the other part is going to be menu dot add underscore cascade right uh, what I wanted to add is going to be a label this label will be known as file right comma and menu equals file menu there okay the next thing I like to I would like to develop would be the the item that will be inside the file so I'm going to call that menu dot add file menu dot add underscore command and that is going to be label label equals let me call the first one standard calculator I'll just center standard there right and close that and the second one is going to be known as scientific and let's add one more this is scientific let's copy all of this paste it right there and here I'm just going to enter exit you can enter whatever you like okay now now that is done I have one two okay let's enter a separator here so just to show you guys how to add a separator so that's going to be file underscore uh, file dot add underscore separator and that is how we create a separator get rid of that okay so I would like to run this but before that let me add the system to display root dot configure has to display the menu itself so that's going to be menu equals menu bar right so one other thing let me just end the hope system there and ask it to loop okay so let's run it and see what we've done so far so let's get rid of this config right that's fine okay let's run it and just see how it's gonna look like for now there we go that's my system and there we go you see that and that's the separator I was talking about okay that is fine So the next thing is, let me create another menu. I'm just going to copy all of these and just dump it right there. So that's going to be known as edit. Paste that in there. I'm just call that edit. And the content I want inside edit, let's say it's going to be maybe cut, copy, and paste, something like that. Right. 
and I'll just change the name to edit so okay and change this as well let's move this so that you can see it right edit and this is going to be known as edit as well right all done if I run in this is what you guys will see there we go that's my edit but well, I need to change the content in there and to do that this will have to be known as edit right so let's run it again and you see what I'm talking about that has changed there we go we now have cut copy and paste on this one standard scientific and exit right then the next one let's create just one more i'm gonna copy all of this up to maybe here let's copy that and i'm gonna change that to help paste that in there change this to help to help as well and up here or in there add help and right inside there let me just call that view help right and all of these will be known as help help menu there yeah, that is that done okay so the first part you guys have actually learned how to create a menu so if I run in this is what you will see there okay those are my menus all right now let's get these two just these two alone to all these three menus here to do something for us okay I'm gonna close that okay the first thing I would like to do is let me just create a separator here so that this room so I'm just gonna call that menu and right up here on top right on top of the menu itself I'm going to create my function the first one is going to be known as I exit and that is for function exit so I exit equals as t k in a dot message box let's select message box dot and that's going to be ask yes or no and here I'm going to enter scientific calculator there so copy that here paste that right in there scientific calculator and comma confirm if you want to exit close that then use an if statement to check the option made by the user I exit if I exit is greater than zero then root dot destroy okay that is that done and now the system to return all right that is done okay that's how simple that is now the exit i will now call the exit right in here so all we just need to do is comma and you enter command equals I exit that's the function I've just called this function now so if I save and run it exit no exit yes now you know how to create menu and call the menu okay let's repeat the same thing for scientific and standard so this is going to be known as standard command standard and command scientific 
those will be the name of the function so the first one is going to be function scientific okay in the case of function scientific all I just need to do is to copy what and what I have in here I'm going to copy everything here the German tree just this two is that important bit that I need for now and paste it right in there okay there this will be for standard as well so copy that there in the case of standard let's change the name to standard so standard is fine and that of scientific we have to change the size of this so I'm going to make that approximately 944 okay so so what we happen is when I click on this I can change the size of the form itself and reduce it here as well so let's run it and see scientific there we go you see that guys and change it back to standard exit yeah so the menu is now working how we want now what we then need to do is to create the calculator itself so have a good look at how to create a menu and the function menu and function there Okay, that is that done. You take it from the top, bring it down. And that is how you create your own menu and function in Python. So I'm going to call that the end of the first part of this tutorial. See you guys shortly.